Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm super excited. We're taking a look at a brand new product from Thor. This is the 2020 Thor Delano model 24 FB, which in my opinion is the best floor plan because this gives you the dinette, the sofa with the Murphy bed. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then I'm gonna give you three things I love about this motorhome and three things I dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel that gives you that true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And Andrea, today I'm super excited. <laughs> we are taking a look at the brand newest product from Thor Motor Coach, the Delano. Now, before we begin, I want to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everybody. What the hell's going on today? I don't know what's going on here. We did not move to Florida for this weather. <laughs> it's a little chilly. Hey, but we're going to make it work. You That's know why? Because right. we do a video every, other, every day other day for you. Thanks so much. Cool. I'm joking about this part. Let's begin. Model is 24 FB, but the actual tip to tip length is 25 feet 8 inches. This is powered on the all new Mercedes chassis and how you can tell it's the sleek, the sleek light design and all Delato. Oh, this is the same product as the Tiburon and I'm saying it right today, which means shark in Spanish. Did you know that? <laughs> no, I did not. The RV review crew let me know. It's just the same thing. They're sister products. It is on the new chassis. You can tell from the sleek um, design. It's going to have all the bells and whistles that I touched on on the last Delano video. And if you don't know what features that is, I'll have a link up there. Also, check out that video at the end of this video. And it just looks real nice. It's the uh, 3.0 liter V6, 188 horsepowers, and all that good stuff. Coming down the side you have full body paint which looks absolutely beautiful forgot to touch on it you have a nice seamless fiberglass front cap oh nice and they did add the windshield up there I couldn't tell really because it was black but you can see it up there and you can see that they have frameless windows throughout the whole motorhome you do have a nice power awning with LED lights Just throw them in your pocket for now. I don't need them in my pocket. Oh, that's terrible. See that it has the wind resistant on oh, them, yeah. right? That's nice. Power awning with LED lights. And the awning has a wind sensor. So if the wind blows too hard, that awning will automatically retract itself back in. The same way you push a button, and it automatically puts itself out. Good size awning. Yep. While the awning's coming out, you do have power plugs right here to hook up for the outside. Nice. You have these nice oh. aluminum slam latch doors, and I love how they open sideways and not up and down. Yes. That's a big door. Yes. There's the power. Coming on down. I love how they paint over the exhaust and everything. You have your Cummins Onan 3600 LP generator. I believe you can get a diesel generator as an option. Over here, you got a little bit more storage. Electric stabilizing jacks right there, standard. Right here, you have a propane quick connect. Right here, you got a little bit more storage because you never have enough. And then right here, you do have a tankless instant hot water heater. Around the back, you have a 5,000 pound hitch. Just found out, y'all, you cannot tow 5,000 pounds on the Mercedes. The Mercedes has now limited it to 4,200 pounds, just so everybody knows. Uh, around the back, it looks nice and sleek. You have a backup camera right there integrated in your brake. Uh, light back there and then you also have a ladder to get up on the one-piece TPO roof. Let's go up there and take a look. Now Matthew, when you go up there, do not walk around because it's raining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe you're right. Yes, just show it from right there. 
All right, up here on the roof, maybe Andre is right. It is very wet on the roof. You can see that it is a one-piece TPL roof. You have your air conditioning right there, max air fans installed, your to-go uh, digital antenna right there, and then it does have a solar panel already up on the roof. <clears throat> Great, and if you haven't already, Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesman's gonna take his fat ass up on the roof, or at least up the ladder, on a rainy, chilly day here in Central Florida? Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> and get your official stickers down in the description below. Matt's RV review stickers. Here, here. Let's keep on. Look. Look right there. Oh, that looks good. That looks good right there. <laughs> Oops. Now you dropped it. I dropped it. Over here's your wet bay. Got an outdoor shower, 30 amp power hookup, an external hookup for the outside. Mm. Over here, got a little bit more storage because you can never have enough. Your 30 amp power cord. Over here, you got more storage. It's a pretty good amount of they storage. They did a good job with the storage for how small this is. And then right here is your propane tank. It is a 68 pound propane tank. Also, I'll have all the rest of the specifications about this motorhome, lengths, tank sizes, widths, everything down in the description below. And then right here is where you fill up your fuel. And it is a 26.4 gallon fuel capacity. Do you know the cargo carrying weight? Oh, we should check you. that right, right here. Thank you, thank you. I think it's on the other side. Okay. Now, oh, let's check that first. You ride, you ride. Hey, I'm just cold. Oh, dang it. Hang on. That's why, why I, I lock it again. That's why I told you to keep your keys in your dang pocket. Hang on, I'm coming through this way. Okay, there's the lock. Oh, he's gonna make me climb in through that way. He told me to do that as well. Gonna didn't make you? me to climb in through here. No, no, I got it. I got it. The uh, cargo carrying capacity is. 734 pounds womp, womp. now a lot of people are wondering why that's so low it, and you'll see why on the inside the um all the mean yeah 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 I got let it. me all in the let me in yeah 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 all the manufacturers who do this floor plan have a low cargo carrying capacity it's trying to make me freeze out here guys Oh, all right, in. the outside looks great. Let's yeah. see what the inside looks like. Hey, that's my line. Well, you forgot. <laughs> Don't take my line. All right, show this. Slides are in. Yep. Now, here is the walkway to the bathroom. Still can get to it. Very spacious motorhome when the slide outs are in. Definitely. I do like that it's only on one whole slide. I like the one, yeah. the one whole slide. Well, see, a lot of people are going to complain about the cargo carry capacity on this, but it's fit, but you can't get this floor plan with without having a low cargo carry capacity, which to me I would be all right with. But do me a favor, if you could leave down in the comments below, let me and Andrea know three things you like about this motorhome and three things you don't like about this motorhome. The more people who comment and smash that thumbs up button the more people YouTube likes to promote our channel to. And we appreciate it. We do. Thanks everybody. We love each and every one of you. Except Mega Man 64, Shark Lover 843, and <laughs> except those two. You're, no. you're calling them out? No, that's not real names. I know. Okay, let's get started in the upfront area. This is a new, brand new Mercedes-Benz chassis. And how you can tell is the 10.25 inch screen. This is push start, this is everything. I'm actually going to clip to our our last, no, 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 I'm not going to clip to it. Make sure you check out the other video to hear all the great features that has on this chassis, chassis area. I'm going to make them work for it. I like the steering wheel. Can I, can I point that out? Yeah. Very nice steering wheel. Yes. Also, both of these seats do swivel. Over here is your bunk over the cab. This holds 250 pounds. Uh, you have these seats here, so once these seats do swivel, it makes you boost it some. And there is a ladder to get up on the roof. Also, you do have a nice power shade right there. And you control that power shade and everything from this dashboard. 
auto gen start, tank levels, uh, air conditioning, everything. Over here, the dinette. I love this. So, these motorhomes are not big, but I love when they put the cushions right there. And I love how this leg extends out like that. So when you're taller, you can sit back like this and watch TV. And believe it or not, I swear to you, this, this position right here is better for me to watch TV than sitting in that sofa, believe it or not. Is that crazy? No. No storage under the dinette, I, I don't, I assume. Yeah, I don't think there can be unless it um, has that little wood hole that you pull up. A wood hole? <laughs> yeah, the wood hole. Yeah, well, it does have one. I don't know if it comes no, up. No, no storage. No. It's screwed down. Oh, that's true. But look at this. You have these nice um, cabinet doors. The, this is the same company that had, I guess they had rights with Winnebago or maybe it was Road Trek or one of them. And now Thor is able to do the nice high Charging center cabinetry. there by the bunk. Yep. Over here in the kitchen, you got more. I love the TV placement because it's kind of over here and then it's kind of over there. It's not dead center to any one of them. And then it does open up for storage behind the TV. Good. <clears throat> over here in the sink, nice rounded sink. Now what a lot of customers have been saying to me, what they like about this sink, it's good for a crock pot while you're driving down the road. Oh, yep, good idea. Even, yep, exactly. Right there. That's a $84 trash can. <laughs> I do like these, the cabinetry. It's right, I, it looks modern and beautiful, and it just looks really good. Nice. And then over here, you got more. Nice little splash guard up there. Uh, no, so what this is for steam. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah that's full splash guard, yeah, okay. Something like that. Something like that, sure. They'll correct us. Whatever. RV rig crew. Yep, you got your uh, two burner cooktop right here, propane. Oh, look, I hate this. I hate this because... Because it doesn't go down easy. Well, you got to pull it up. And if you don't do it right, it'll oh, just explode. Oh, look, the awning's going in, everybody, because it's getting windy. So oh, it's is going it? in all by itself. Yeah. No, it's not. Was it moving? Yeah. And I heard it's, I heard it's, it was starting to go to, let's see. It's a good, it's a little one, but it's still doable. Yep, something's better than nothing. Oh, we already showed these Nice drawers. big drawer here. Yep, just a great motor home. Let me show the fridge. It's a two-way fridge, does run off both propane and electric. And it's just a nice motor home. Very nice. For a nice price. Now, speaking of price, it's time for the MSRP. Oh my gosh, you're so crazy. MSRP on this motorhome is. By the way, I never want to see this jacket again. For real. This is not why we moved like, to Florida. It's pretty close to the end of February. We had to it's dig this out of the attic. We had warmer. to dust it off. You're like, <sighs> right? Like, I don't want to see this. MSRP on this motorhome is $100. $63,134 wow. MSRP. That's very expensive. We have a discounted 30% off MSRP to $114,995. Pretty good discount, pretty good price. But Andrea. That's just map pricing, right? That's No, not map. Map. I said map. Oh, okay. That's the lowest the, um, the manufacturers will allow us to advertise it for. But you can get a better price. Yes, I can. If you call, if you text, email, or they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Contact me if you want an even better price. Let's continue the video. Now notice the yep. uh, privacy curtain here. Yep, goes How all, it the, goes way all the way around. You have your sofa here. Check this out. Oh. Look at that. Low e battery. How low? Uh, enough that it's popping up in red. We'll finish it. We got drawers there and drawers there. Andrea, why'd you forget to charge the camera? Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> and look at this. This just, in my opinion, this just looks better than the other brand that we did. Um, it's Art Deco. That's not Art Deco. It's just a picture. And USB cables. 
What's that little car charger thing? Yep. Got a nice mirror here. Oh, let's, and you're gonna do the bed, right? Yep, so stand over there, please. This is one of my favorite things to see on these. Huh? Right there? Huh? Where? Nope, that's not it. Okay, I think, no. We go through this every time. Here it is. Where? There's a key there first. You have to unlock the. There you go. There we go. You're my everything, Dave. You're my everything, Dave. All right. All right. I don't even know if we did this right. All right. I can't. Oh, there we go. So you got to put the legs down. Okay. Get up on there. Yeah, get up on that bed. Let's see. Do you think... Nah. What? I was thinking maybe you might have to remove the sofa cushions, but I don't know if those come off. Would you like me to put the bed back up? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Up. Oh. There we go. See those cushions there? Those are meant to be moved, I think. Hell yeah. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Alright, drop it low. Here we go. There we oh, go. Oh, that's a lot better. Is it comfortable? It's actually not bad. Let me see. That's pretty great. Yeah, it isn't bad. Here. Let's pop open those cupboards back there. Climb up on there. Not bad at all. It really isn't. And I'm really picky about beds. Yep. Check that out. I mean, the bed was comfortable as well. I like the lights up there. Uh-huh. Nice cabinetry. Yep. Very nice. I don't know why I just love this. I just, it, it gives it that ambiance. Yep. You know? Now, Andrea. Yes. We must know. Is the bedroom Andrea approved? Definitely. Hey. <laughs> Let's get this bed up. Look how easy that goes up. I actually like this better. It's it's an extra it's, step. It is, but you know, but on the other ones, better. some models it like slams down when it when it doesn't have that. And I do like that you can do that. Right. I prefer it. Definitely. All right. Nice. That was fast and easy. It's camping. Great. Or clamping. Clamping. As I would call it. All right. To wrap it up. Got a little bit more storage there. More storage there. More Let's see that door one more time. Nice. Okay. All of these, same size. Got another. In okay, so you have two. Yep. Plenty Excellent. of storage in this motorhome. Definitely. You know, this is this is a very big motorhome well, for Matt, being on a Mercedes. You would not even have but a couple drawers. This yeah. would all be mine. Yeah. Pretty much. Check out this the mirror here. Let's all see. Right. Let me check the sink real quick. Nice sink. You got a nice cover down here. Oh yeah. Oh, let's see the shower. Look at this shower. Now this is a relatively small shower, y'all, but you gotta remember, we're in a Mercedes motorhome. So this is a uh, that's a good size, it's a actually. It's a pretty good size shower. I'm pretty impressed. Close this. Yep. Okay. Very good size. Definitely. I'm a fan. Got a window here. Yep. It's always nice. Then we got the toilet fan there. there. Oh, let's see this toilet. Fan for the toilet test. See, you've got the four piece. Nope. I don't it think not. so. I know it doesn't. All right. Plastic. Womp, womp, womp. Plastic toilet. Not a fan of. Toilet paper holder right here. Not a fan of. Other than that, leg space, width space. I'm, you don't even need to close that. I just want to show. Pocket door, right on the back. I mean, I got I got a foot and a half right here. Yes. We're totally good. It's comfortable. It's just not porcelain, which I get because of cargo carrying capacity. I get that. But this toilet paper holder here, but it's still pretty good. Yeah. What power are we on? What, 30? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, 4%. 4%? We can do it. It's now time that we give you Three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it with only 4% battery power life <laughs> left. Let's go. What should we do first? Uh, dislikes. Dislikes. Okay. One. Easy. 
you the know, toilet I, gotta be porcelain. Gotta be porcelain, and you gotta put the toilet paper holder in the right spot. Yes. That's one. Number two, bunk over the cab, only holding 250 pounds. Or not only that, like it's just how it's very small up there. Yep. Just not a fan. And I get it, and I get it. It just is what it is. So that's two, and then number three, I'm gonna say it's out here. I don't like the power hookup, and I don't like any of this. You I don't just, like the wet bay? Uh, no, and I don't like this. Uh, they just could have done it better, in my opinion. Now, this does not have uh, leveling, does it? Self leveling? No, it uh, um it has electric stabilizer. Okay, well that's good. Uh, auto leveling is an option. I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend it on something this, this small. This small, yeah. Uh, the storage doors and the storage space is great. Exactly. Especially, you said it 100% yep. right. Not only the storage space, but the storage doors on this. Yes. I love that they're not up. They don't flip up, you know? Yep. Go on inside. I Can I say what I love? Sure. I love how the bed goes down. Man, you how, stole it. How easy it is. You just push the button and it's down. I'm going to go even more into detail. I love when it's up as well. It just looks better than the competition had yes. these like wood things and like yeah it was all sticking out and it was bulky even though it's an extra step to put it down it looks better yeah My it's opinion. so important because you won't find a dinette and a sofa in a model like this yep without that yep and then the well i'm the first thing first thing again going back to the storage on the outside i want to add the storage on the inside yes just the storage the not space. a storage is crazy so the third thing i love about this motorhome is i'm sorry the dinette, dinette. Because I'm you like the you, extensions. The dinette is more comfortable than the sofa. Just the way the way my weird body works and what I'm comfortable with. I literally, if we're RVing, oh, that might be a problem if you're taller. Yes. Oh, it's like, <laughs> but I'm not taller, so it's all good. The way I'd be working, I'd be sitting here watching TV on my laptop, answering comments and editing videos. This is where, where my spot would be. But that's it. What percentage are we on? Three. Oh, all right. Well, that's it. That's the review. If you have any questions about this RV or any other RVs, you can call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or my personal cell, 301-906-0962. If you haven't already seen our other Delano video, make sure you check that out because there's a very important part in there where I talk about the all-new Mercedes chassis and the features that it has to offer you. So make sure you check that out. You'll see a video right here, and then also, no, you see the video right here, also with the link up there. Andre, do you want to say anything to anybody? I want to say thank you guys for watching, and to all the new subscribers, and just thanks RV Review Crew. Keep it up with the comments and the questions. I love reading them. Awesome. <laughs> thanks so much, everyone. Andrea? We'll see you next, next time. time. Hey.